In another recent school shooting in Montgomery County, the suspects used a particular weapon that has lawmakers nationwide concern. We're talking about ghost guns and usually untraceable because they don't have serial numbers. Now, your state leaders are working to ban them. WJZ's Live, Ava Germanet explains why the push to ban these guns could face some opposition. Have a joy. Hi, Vic. Well, we're live in Baltimore City right now where the police department said they have seen an exponential increase in the recovery of those ghost guns off of the streets. But it's not just a Baltimore City issue, as you mentioned. It's a national issue, and lawmakers, they're trying to fix it. Oh, and he was a really a beautiful soul. A devastated That's mother who lost her son to gun violence pleaded with lawmakers in Annapolis to make a change. I don't want this continue. I don't want no other mother has to cry. The babies, I don't want no other mother lost his son. She said someone shot her son with a ghost gun. They are untraceable guns with no serial numbers. You can buy them online with no background check, then assemble them at home. Well, Mayor Brandon well, Scott was among the speakers who want agree. lawmakers to ban those types tool. of guns. And no one should be able to bypass background checks and just get a gun off the internet. In Baltimore alone, the number of ghost guns went up from just nine when they first started keeping track to 350. Last year. That's a more than 3,800% increase in just four years. In late January, a student was shot and injured in a Montgomery County high school. Police said the suspect, a fellow student, used a ghost gun. Some lawmakers are concerned that a ban on the guns could negatively affect law abiding gun owners. So you're going to um, make thousands of law abiding citizens uh, potentially fall outside the law and become criminals under this act. Uh, just because they exercise their Second Amendment right. In addition to Annapolis, there's also a movement to ban ghost guns on the federal level. We need to get on top of this and prevent uh, people from essentially sending all the parts over the Internet and letting people assemble untraceable guns at home. And we heard from Police Commissioner Michael Harrison earlier this week. He said his department has recovered about 139 guns from the streets so far this year. 51 of them were ghost guns. Live tonight in Baltimore City, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ. Avajoy, thank you. And WJZ will have much more on this issue of ghost guns and what's being done to keep you safe and your family safe in a CBS News Baltimore exclusive. You can stream this special tomorrow. Uh, uh, actually, tomorrow night at 7.30, Friday night at 6.30, and Sunday morning at 9, exclusively on CBS News Baltimore.